And welcome to the channel this video is part two of making the cutest spring dress i have made yet please go watch the first one because in that one i shared how to measure yourself how to make your sewing patterns from scratch like everything you would need in preparation for this video because in this one i'm going to be cutting and stitching the dress all together so this is the sewing portion of the project i'm going to link the pattern tutorial on the screen and down below so if you haven't seen that already check it out first i'm also going to list all the materials and any other relevant tutorials that i need that you guys might need in the video description down below and let's just get straight into sewing this dress because i'm so excited to put it together everything is looking really good i'm really excited for the outcome and i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like at the end when it's all done patterns all pinned now <sighs> if <laughs> if you work with prints and you try to align the prints like i'm trying to do here please leave any tips you have in the comment section down below that has been one of the biggest challenges in this project i'm trying to get better at matching up prints along seams so i've just tried to like follow the dots and in the shape and in a way that when I stitch it up, they still look good and visually pleasing. But I've pinned up the front pieces, the back, and then the sleeve, as well as the piece for the skirt. The skirt I'm going to cut as two pieces and then join them on the side seam. But that's how everything is looking so far. I still have quite a bit of fabric left, so I think I might do like a smaller spring or summer project with the leftover. I was worried that two meters nine was not going to be enough. Which is one of the reasons why I make the sleeves short, but now that I know, I would say you would need a meter and a half for this dress design if you wanted to recreate this for yourself. But how gorgeous is this pink print? Oh my god, shades of gorgeousness! I love it. in here to cut out all of the panels i need for my dress with the patterns i made in my previous tutorial i'm going to cut out the pieces for the front for the back the sleeve and i'm actually going to use the same patterns to cut out my lining the only difference with the lining is that i didn't cut the sleeve piece so the sleeve is not going to be lined but everything else for the body and the skirt is the same i did make the skirt lining shorter by about one inch so you don't see it on the right side of the garment don't forget to cut your notches because this dress has quite a few pieces and notches would help you to match panels together accurately. These are all of the panels for my dress and the good thing with this print is that it's really nice and soft. It's not too difficult to work with even though it's a satin print and once I have everything cut out in the main material and in the lining, I'm going to go ahead and start joining all of my pieces together. Starting with the front dress, I am going to be joining the bottom panels underneath the top. So I have those three panels stitched up together, press that seam open before connecting the two top ends which has the, the curved seam. Once I have that done, I'm going to gather up, you know the little dot that we had around that edge, I'm going to gather that into that curved seam like so. I would say stitching curved seams can be a little bit scary but a trick that helps is to match your notches and then ease parts together. Because they are both curved, you kind of have to like stretch them a little bit so they match in a way that is seamless once you have it all stitched up. This I'm going to be sewing on a one centimeter seam allowance, I'm going to do it for the left and the right hand side, give it a nice press to relax all of the stitching and I'm going to go ahead to work on the back. In the same order, I'm going to join the straight panels together first. And then once those are stitched up, I'm going to connect it to the top ends. 
once i have my back panel stitched in place i'm going to be putting right sides together and then i'm going to sew up the shoulder and the side seams press them nice and open and then fit it on myself just to see how it sits on my body before i continue with anything else i have just popped on the dress half done to check that the fit is nice and this is looking really pretty oh my gosh <gasps> wow even like this it already looks like a really cute um top like long top shirt dress situation but i'm very happy with making it you know i can breathe out and breathe in breathe out and breathe in and it's still like a comfortable fit because this fabric doesn't have a lot of stretch but it just feels so nice it's like nice and buttery on the skin so let me just fix the skirt and then assemble the lining use the lining to finish the neckline and then use the sleeve to sew the lining and the main like dress but that's what it looks like this is so beautiful oh this is nice this is nice i'm happy <laughs> Happy. moving on to the skirt of this dress design now this skirt i actually cut as two long pieces but one of the pieces i cut in half because i want to have a seam on the center back so i'm going to open up the really long piece and then i'm going to be putting right sides together of the shorter pieces because i want to join them along the sides and then have the center back edge open so i can fix a zip there and have a seam there as well this i'm going to be sewing on a one centimeter seam allowance using a normal straight stitch press it nice and flat open if you don't want to have a lining you can overlock this as well just to have everything tucked away nicely on the inside of your dress once i was done joining all the panels together on one end with my longest stitch on my machine i'm just going to sew so i have a stitch that once i pull the threads it gathers up the fabric for me now i would say if i had more material i'll definitely make this gathers even more dramatic by making that piece way longer but i think it worked just fine for this project once i had that gathered in place i'm just going in here to pin it along the waistline or the hemline of the top half i'm going to spread the gathers across the entire seam as evenly as possible because if it's kind of not evenly distributed one side looks full the other side doesn't look full so once i have everything pinned in place i'm going to be sewing up this seam like so to join the top to the bottom skirt which in this case is gathered this you can do as a circular cut piece if you don't want to have gathers but i honestly think that the gathers adds a really nice shape to the silhouette of this dress once i had that done this is what the dress is looking like it looks so cute already i love it but before i join the lining pieces i'm actually going to be adding the zip to the open center back edge first so this i'm just going to put right sides together of the back of my dress like so and then i'm going to grab my long dress zip and because it's an invisible zip i'm going to open up the zip and then pin each side to the open sides of the back of my dress this i always like to pin before i take to my machine because with invisible zips you kind of have to unroll them a little bit and stitch as close as possible to the zip teeth thankfully i have a domestic machine that has a zip footer i also have that on my industrial machine but i didn't want to go through the hassle of changing the thread on my industrial so i just jumped to my domestic to quickly do this i'm just going to go ahead to sew on this side in this direction and then turn the piece to the other side to stitch up the other end of the zip to the other side of the back of the dress once i had both sides of the zip tape stitched in place you still have that bottom edge of that center back seam open that i would need to go in and sew up so we don't have like an opening on the back of the dress this you will sew from the hem and sew as close as possible as you can get to the end of the zip teeth at the bottom this is what the back of the dress looks like i really always love when invisible zips come out so nicely they just oh they're so satisfying to look at i swear so now that i have my zip done i'm actually going to set this aside and then join all of the lining panels together in the same order that we did for the dress so join the body panels the top panels the shoulder the side seam 
add the skirt and this is what my lining piece looks like this lining is going to help me finish the neckline and center back edges of my dress now i'm going to put right sides together of my lining to my dress and then i'm going to pin points like the center front the shoulder seam the center back and with the same lining it's how i'm going to finish up you know that center back edge so when this is stitched up and then turned inside out when you zip down the dress and you look on the inside you don't have any raw seam showing now this i'm going to sew as one continuous stitch and i'm going to start from one side sew up the center back around this front neckline and down to the other side thankfully my machine has this really narrow foot so i'm able to sew in such a way that it catches the seam without going into the zip tape and everything can still move nicely sewing carefully removing pins as i go along until i get to the other side of this seam I'm just going in here to finish this seam like so and then I turn my piece inside out, trimmed off extra seam allowance, pressed it nice and flat and this is what the inside of the dress is looking like. Like we did for the main dress, you need to sew up that open end on the bottom of the center back so you have a beautifully finished lined dress. The next thing I'm going to work on is the sleeve. The sleeve, I'm going to be sewing up the side seams first. And after doing that, I'm going to overlock that side seam and then finish the hemline. So this you can overlock and roll and stitch, or you can roll it twice. And once you have your sleeve beautifully finished, that I'm going to fit into the open armhole of the dress. And the plan is to use this sleeve to actually stitch both the lining and the main dress so that is how we close off that part of the dress once i have my sleeve pinned in i'm going to sew it up on a one centimeter seam allowance this i'm going to repeat for the left and the right hand side so we have both sleeves stitched in place and because we've already hemmed the bottom of the sleeve you don't really need to think about that once you are done after stitching it in normally i'm going to go in and overlock if you don't have an overlocker you can use a zigzag stitch or you can use a bias tape to finish off the seam so you have a really nice clean finish on the inside of your dress This is what the dress looks like all done. It actually came out really, really nice. But when I tried it on, there are some changes I wanted to make. I knew I wanted to make the dress a little bit shorter. So I went in to shorten it by two inches from the bottom because for my frame, it just looked a lot nicer. You might want yours midi or maxi, so you can work with the length that you are comfortable with. Once I trimmed off the extra bit of fabric, which ended up becoming a scarf for the dress, I went in to just roll and hem the bottom. I also went in to drop the neckline by 1.5 inches. It's not too revealing, but it kind of sits in a way that I think is more flattering on my neckline. So this, I just turned the dress and sh to show the wrong side and then I pinned it flat in such a way that it gives me access to go in and make the change that I want on the neckline so after stitching away the extra I trimmed off the excess pressed it down and this is what the finished dress looks like this dress took me about two days I would say like from doing the pattern sewing and everything it took me two days so I would say it's like an intermediate project but the outcome is just so gorgeous like everybody who saw this dress gave me a compliment and it looks so good on it's something that i know i could style with like a shirt underneath if i don't want to show too much skin i could also style it with boots and tights if it's a colder day but this is this has me spring and summer ready and i can't wait to rock this if you guys did enjoy this project please give it a thumbs up tag me on your recreations on social media at kim Dave designs thank you so much darling for gifting me this fabric i enjoyed working with it and until next time have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye